Hey, Brian Sullivan, founder of Precise Selling with your weekly video tip. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I am getting a little nervous. And here's what I'm getting nervous about. I think too many people, not only in the corporate world, but outside the corporate world, are living risk-free. In fact, we've all gotten to a point where we have to be careful about what we say, how we act, make sure we stay in the lane. Don't take any risk. And I'll tell you what, I think this whole mentality is making us wimpy. Take risk away from our lives and what the heck are we living for? You know, I came across a great quote this week from Toni Morrison. She was the first African-American to win the Nobel Prize for Literature. And I love this quote. It says, I want to discourage you from choosing anything or making any decision simply because it is safe. Things of value seldom are. Holy cow, what a great quote. And this reminded me, it took me back many years ago when my daughter Shay, she was eight years old. I'm in my office and I'm doing some work. And in the door, she pounds in and she's got a Cinderella dress on. She comes up to me and she says, hey, daddy, daddy, um, I've got a favor to ask. They're having a princess pottery playland party and um, we get to dress up as our favorite princess and um, someone has to take me and we get to paint ceramic things. Would you go? And I said, well, yeah, I'd be honored. So you'll be my date? Of course I'll be your date. Let's go. So I'll never forget this. We show up this place, Princess Pottery Playland, and we walk in. And you've got Ariel, Cinderella, Snow White, Belle. you got all the little girls dressed up. And, and, and of course, there's about 20 moms and me. Of course, the girls have to go grab their ceramic piece, get any paint color they want, come back and sit down in the little blue chair. So my daughter grabs the wildest paint she could possibly find. She grabs a little... A bare piggy bank sets it down in front of her, and she is grabbing paint color after paint color. I mean, it, she was painting the ear color one color, the belly another color. She, she was like Tammy Faye Baker's makeup artist. God rest her soul. Now, she was having a blast. To the left of me, I hear this woman go, No! What are you doing? You know that's not how we paint. And I saw this woman take this paintbrush out of the hand of her child and starts painting everything for the kid. And I looked at the kid's face. The kid went totally disappointed, like she screwed up. And then I looked at the other tables and I can't tell you how many moms and dads I saw painting their kids, little ceramic object. And I said, oh my God. And it hit me that while these parents thought that they were trying to create or teach their kid how to create the perfect little object. In fact, what these parents were trying to do is create the perfect little kids but they were bad because they didn't know that they were actually butchering these kids' confidence. They were taking away their ability to think for themselves, their ability to take a risk, to not live in a risk-free world. And what a sad thing this was. And what could have been a wonderful, fun day for a whole bunch of children actually ended up probably teaching them long-term, don't screw up, stay in your lane, do the right thing. You know, another great quote, from Mark, Mark Twain says, 25 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did do. Sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sail, explore, dream, and discover. So you wanna know what a bear that has a bunch of paint colors on it? I look around at my daughters, it's a wreck, it's a mess, but who cares? It was her gig and my hope for my daughter is she will not, be convinced from all the media and everything around her that it's just best to be careful about what you say, how you act. Stay in your lane. Because you know what? My fear is that mom and all the ones who were taking the paintbrushes out of the hands of those children are the same ones who are trying to tell you to do the right thing. So take a risk this week. Let's make a difference. Let's be creative. Grab a paintbrush, and we'll see you next week for your precise selling tip.